All right, we come to the other farm to check on our beef cows. We got two right here, and then of course the bull and the other cows on the other side, but that's that little heifer that we did a, a video on. She's huge, beautiful. But that cow right there and this cow, that cow is heavy bred and that cow is just to deliver. That is, uh, this one right here, is, this is Ginger right here, and this is Holly. Holly's the brangus, and she should be delivering just any day. What do you think? Yep, I didn't think she'd make it till today. I didn't either. I actually thought she'd deliver by today. She's huge, though. Yep. She looks good, though. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to the Max. Today is kind of a bittersweet day. We're actually uh, going to pick up uh, the two other sheep, the lambs. You'll be able to see them. They're beautiful. They're only eight weeks old. Absolutely gorgeous. But we're actually, um, we've decided to, uh, you know, if y'all remember, Beauty has not really grown. Beauty is our black Angus that's here. We have, you know, you've seen the other black Angus, uh, the two that says now babies. But, uh, we're actually gonna we thought about culling her and going ahead and processing her but she's so she's still so little and we're scared we'd be wasting money there so we're actually going to sell beauty uh, at a sale tomorrow so we're going to get her moved over and uh get her with the dairy cows and that way we can run her into a trailer first thing in the morning so a little bittersweet so let's uh let's get her loaded and then we'll go pick up the sheep and uh kind of do all that together okay all right, so it's time do we normally move our, our dairy away from their babies. We're going to move Beauty too. Come on, Beauty. She's a beautiful cow. Uh, she's our loudest. If y'all remember from all the prior videos, she's so loud. But she just won't grow. Uh, she was like a low-line Angus and uh, just was a runt from a group. We thought it'd be good, but she just won't, won't mature well. So we're going to go ahead and sell her. That way uh, we can probably utilize our funds and investments a little bit better than than her so let's get her in with the, the dairy and we'll walk her over and where that stanchion's at that's where we load cows to so we'll be able to do that tomorrow right after our milk This is just temporary until we get the big net moved. Our other big net is in our orchard for our permaculture chickens. So instead of us uh, trying to move piece by piece, we're just gonna go ahead and put them in the temporary little one before we put the new sheep in there, move this big net to encapsulate this whole area. Oh. 
All right, so you can see they're a lot more vocal, but they're a lot smaller. They're truly lambs. They just got weaned. They're only eight weeks old. Uh, you see, of course, the ram. They actually communicated a little bit a while ago, so it's good that they, they kind of know each other. They're from the same farm. Uh, these are sister and brother, so that I help a little bit too. So, uh, And these are actually sisters. The little you here is a sister to their mom. So I think that's going to help as well. So let's go and let them out. Let's see how they do. Ellie, go up there and get behind them. Get behind them, baby. Don't scare them too much. They walk really slow. He's, he's adorable. <laughs> He is such. She said he's cool and collected. Daddy. Um, See if JJ wants to pet him. Heart, heart aunt is here. Left. Girls, don't scare them down there. Don't, don't scare the them. Like, the fence is not on. Like, That's the right, the up. fence is not on. Mama, you stand kind of back. What, baby? Well, the lamb pack has finally made it to the homestead. We've got two the other day, and then got these last two looking great. So we've got, let's go back through them. The spotted one you see right here, he's a sweetheart. He is our uh, weather. He's actually, uh, we like the spots, but we wanted white lambs uh, and white sheep. So he is, uh, he's our weather though. He's a sweet thing. He's already, he's, his, that's his twin behind him. But his name is Donald and her is Daisy. She has got one little spot on her but uh, she will be our little you uh, and then we have our big you and our ram so we have our our big you right here of course Minnie, and then behind them is mr trump himself so they're all here we've got this move we've got the net moved on fresh grass they have had their head down the whole time you see where they were look how good they've done that's where they were last week right there and you see it's already starting to grow back heavy 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 this would be the same thing and then we'll move them here and then right where the truck sits will be the next paddock. And then we'll work all the way down here, all the way there, and all the way and end up right here. That's another four week process. So that would give basically six, almost six full weeks right here, which is 36 days. For summer, that will be perfect. If it seems like it's uh, not growing back like we want, we've got these two lanes. One lane goes back here towards the back side of the pond where we plant the elderberry, or we can put it right behind the cow. So, a lot of great things happening. We hope you're enjoying our content. Most of all, we hope you enjoy these little lambs. They are pretty. Happy homesteading, y'all.